Hi, Ron here. In this episode of the Proteopedia Video Guide, I'll teach you how to add an applet to a page in Proteopedia. Let's go to the Sandbox page. In case you're not already aware, the Sandbox page is a page where you can try out all sorts of edits without worrying that you might mess up an important page. I'll go over here to edit this page and let's add some new text to the page. This is a sentence about my protein. Okay, and what I'll do is copy this sentence and just paste it a few times. Just so we have some text in the page. Let's say that we save this and our page now looks like this. But we want to add an applet right aligned right here in the page. So we go to edit this page and we can place our applet above the text. There's a button here called 3D. When clicked, it adds the wiki text for a 3D applet. We can click it like this and we see that it prompts us to insert the PDB code or the file name of a file that we've uploaded in Proteopedia into this parameter. So I'll add one EA5. You see that the PDB code or file name is surrounded by single quotes here. And let me just take you briefly through the syntax of this applet. Here is the opening tag of the applet, followed by specification of the load parameter, what we want to load, in this case the PDB file 1EA5, the size of the applet in pixels, frame tells us whether we want a frame to surround our applet, a border, you'll see what I mean in a second by that. If we do have the frame, then that allows us to align the applet either right, left, or center on the page so that the text will wrap around the applet in an appropriate manner. And finally, here we have a caption. And we can change this to say whatever we wish. So let's say this is my caption. And then the closing tag right here, signifying the end of the applet. So let's preview that and, sh and see how it looks. Voila, we have our applet on the page here in this preview. Maybe it's too small, so I can change the size to 400 and preview that. Now it's a bit larger. If I'd like it to be left aligned, I can change the alignment to left. And you'll notice that this is the frame that I was speaking about earlier. If you want a JMOL applet, just this part with the JMOL itself, just this square, with no surrounding border, no buttons, nothing around it, then you can uh, specify frame equals false but that doesn't that prevents you from aligning the applet to the left to the right or center and prevents you from specifying a caption as well for a more detailed explanation of the parameters of the applet we can visit this link editing help when we click on editing help it will load and there is a section on Proteopedia JML applets. Visiting this section, we can read about all of the parameters in detail, as well as a few, like Scene, that I didn't mention yet in this tutorial. Scene allows you to specify a particular scene that you wish to load as the initial scene in that applet. So, if you haven't learned yet about Scenes, you won't understand this part yet, but if you know how scenes work, then you'll know that a scene has a, na a name, something like this, hemoglobin slash cavity slash 14, the page number slash the scene name slash the version number, and you can add this parameter to your applet tag, and that way, instead of having the default initial view come up when your applet is loaded on the page, the scene that you've specified will load automatically. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.